I do. This is my third week of bubble pots. There we go. Let the lattice grow just a little bit more. See if we've got any roots coming up. There's just one or two coming slightly. Seems as if it's slowed down a little bit. My mm, little cucumber, for some reason, the whites have gone. They've gone white. A bit fairy. I think it's just been too hot in this conservatory, really, because the ones in the greenhouse have gone the same. Right. Need tray. Not to come on. Come on, leaps and bounds, lattice and everything. As you can see, lattice come up really well. I start picking that for eat now. That's after like a couple of weeks, isn't it? Tomato plants are coming along. And my sweet corn, sweet corn around here somewhere. And my sweet corn, look how high they've gone. <laughs> Right, and I've moved that tomato plant that was there because it's gone that big. I have to move it because it's growing too big now. I can't see it's in the picture. There we go. It's in the picture now. I've tied it to this cable up here. So hopefully it'll grow all the way up. Root system on it. You can see the roots really, really took off. Just see how it goes. It did start getting a bit white in places, but it seems to clear up a lot, in all fairness. Started doing flowers. There we go. Turn to tomatoes now. Right, I just thought of changing my greenhouse. Well, I've been leaving the door shut. I think it's been going too hot. The windows and doors open. It's evening now, around about half seven. It's still 24 Celsius in here. That's with the window and the door open. No joke. Tomato plants are growing just in soil with the hydrophonic strippers on. See the hydrophonic strippers in there. I've got the soil in trays and then my tomatoes. I've got a couple of peppers. Peppers are coming on brilliant. Absolutely fantastic they are. Right, these are my cucumbers. You see what I mean about the white leaves? It's either too hot or too much nutrients are blocking the roots. And it's not getting the water through the roots because they're blocked. I don't know, I'm trying to find out. This side, I'm in clay paddles. They're doing the same as well. So, it can't be waterlogged, surely. more tomato plants, they're going to seed, to flower should I say, some more tomato plants, and then some more peppers, absolutely doing fantastic, right these trays down here, the water gets fed to all of them, and back into the sun, bottom tray we've got lettuce, string onions there, more lettuce, now I'm trying radish now. These are coming through just a little bit. And then we've got the broccoli in the top. As you can see, the water's flowing at the moment. So it's filling the top, draining to the next one. Along. Down again to the next one. Into the sump. And then it gets pumped all the way back up to the top. 
and it now we've got a reggae beginning to even bold there <laughs> so at night you can give them a little bit more light but I think the greenhouse is too hot because the broccoli is just getting it's just getting burnt so I'll have to sort that out as you can hear uh, the cucumbers, tomatoes, the peppers are just getting watered using drip spikes, say flood spikes. And then these sumps at the bottom underneath again. Well, let's look into the greenhouse. Uh, I mean, tomato plants, this is what I mean, they, they're getting like a white spot on them. The leaves are getting really light green, instead of a nice dark green. Um, but, I have actually got tomatoes growing on these. There we go. Tomatoes are coming, so hopefully I'll get some tomatoes off them anyway. But these are just in general soil through an hydroponic system so they get watered in the day. Okay, I think that will do for this video. Hopefully see you next week.